Hey there, YouTube friends and family. It's the guy with beard, guns, and gear. And uh, I have two rifles here on the table. And I'm gonna just talk about something that, I mean, hurts me, affects me personally. And that's our gun laws here in Canada. Um, pay attention, I mean, the way that it's going in the world, you guys might be, and I'm talking about my American viewers, I'm sure that you are, there, there's a lot of pressure right now to change Canadian, uh, Amer sorry, American gun laws. Uh, and I mean, I think we had a pretty good system before. I think it was fairly well vetted, and now they've just gotten ridiculous. They're silly. They're, they, they make no sense. There are so many inconsistencies with it. We have officials that are deciding the designation of a firearm whether it, 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 you're allowed to own it or not but they're not elected officials so it, it's it makes no sense to me and it's frustrating and it pisses me off to the nth degree i had two firearms here on the table as i've just said uh, one of them this is the kodiak defense uh 180c gen 1 which, if you haven't checked out that video and you want to know a little bit about it, go check it out. It is a 5.56223 uh, Remington or 5.56 NATO semi automatic, five round capacity, right? It looks like this next firearm that I'm going to hold up. This is a SIG M400. I love this firearm. This I mean, SIG has a great reputation anyway, but this firearm was such a dream to shoot. Uh, I mean, it, it's you can get parts for it everywhere. If you want to go shoot it at the range one day, if you want to try long range, you put a scope on it, it takes no time at all. I actually had a red dot mounted on this and I took it off. Knock it off. I took it off to uh, mount it on a 22. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so the SIG M400, love this firearm. Uh, I love the AR platform. Uh, it is modular, it is modern, it suits every user for its purpose, no matter what you wanna do with it. If you wanna shoot long range, get a longer barrel. You can change the whole upper, if you wanna shoot 300 blackout, this is 5.56, change the upper. And you've now got a 300 blockout cartridge firing out of the same guts as what this is. You want to put a scope on it. No problem. Pick a tinny right there. Right there. You can have a quick connect. Uh, do you like a bipod? Fasten a bipod onto it. I, I mean, the possibilities are endless with this. I never liked the cocking handle because I found it was like... You know, I was racking my knuckles. So I put one here because I'm a big fan of left hand uh, cocking. I like the fact that I can like shoot down range and put another magazine in or clear stoppage and it can all be left hand operated. And I mean, I put a set of diamond head sights on it, but I had a red dot, like I said. There's just so many companies producing parts for this firearm, it was uh, exciting okay and, and you know for a time there was a time when this was like you could go hunt with it I think it was like pre 1992 maybe in Canada but anyway you could go hunt with this you could use it for varmint whatever uh, you know if you didn't like the stock you could change the stock it's so easy and then all of a sudden we decided that this firearm was a murder weapon because some people used it to commit those heinous crimes. And I, I, it's tragic, okay? But we can't base laws based on what some people do with them. That It makes absolutely no sense to do this. And I've talked about this in my other videos, but it's the only time where that... I don't even want to say liberal logic, but it's the only time when they use that logic to apply laws, it, and it's not logic. It makes no sense that the statistics do not support the laws they put in place. And, and they keep on going down this road. Well, 
you know, bump stocks are illegal because it turns it into an automatic. Well, no, it doesn't, okay? It just gives you a mechanical advantage so you can fire a semi-automatic faster than what your trigger finger. But I get it, we don't want bump stocks, okay, fine. I mean, what would be the sense of having a bump stock in Canada anyway? You got a five round magazine. Like, give me a break. So, the designation on this is unrestricted for the time being because there is a move that wants to move any, the Liberals want to take any semi-automatic firearm basically and make it prohibited. So they want to go from unrestricted rate to prohibited. Don't even explore the possibility of making something restricted. You know, it's just, it's bad. It's a murder weapon. It shreds the, 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 the target. Like it's, there is so much misinformation out there. And I don't want to go into that because it gets me upset. But I mean, this has been in development for 60, 70 years. It works so well. They've perfected it. It's a fantastic firearm. It's good for junior shooters. We have a big uh, sport shooting following here in Canada. And I mean, they were all over the AR-15. It was the go-to platform because again, you could have one rifle and you could within the course of the day, modify it depending on what you were going to be entering as far as competition. So it worked really well for that. And this is what we have to do. Our Canadian manufacturers and, and, and gun companies are looking for ways that they can produce a semi-automatic to the public and not going to fall into that dreaded, restricted, or now prohibited category. But I mean, What's, what's the difference in these two firearms? I, I, you tell me. I mean, obviously where they're made and, and aesthetically to look at it, they're a little bit different, but I mean, the rounds are leaving the barrel at roughly the same speed. You've got a semi-automatic, semi-automatic, 5.56, 5 5.56, collapsible stock, collapsible stock, gas operated, buffer pad, etc., gas piston, I, I mean, you've got a, 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 you know, a threaded barrel at the end, you've got a threaded barrel, they even have the same flash hider on the end of it. So, I, it's so frustrating. I would love to be able to use that hunting. I would use that all the time. And I've got friends of mine that live down in the States. Shout out to you guys because, uh, you know, you guys are doing cool things down there with uh, ARs and turning them into amazing hunting platforms. You have a feral hog problem in a lot of the southern states and tell me that that is not the ideal firearm to to go through a bunch of hogs. And we're starting to see them show up here in Canada. Uh, in some of the prairie provinces there's been reporting of you know hybrid hogs so half feral half mated with uh, domestic pigs which gives you like a 350 pound tor torpedo running through the woods. I do not want a bolt action if I'm being uh, run down by something with razor sharp tusks and uh, aggressive as all get out. They're very territorial. So I want a semi-automatic. I don't want a bolt action. I don't want uh, maybe a pump action with slugs in it, maybe, but I am taking a 5.56 five, semi-automatic or an SKS or anything along those lines. But please guys, like, I know that I'm ranting here, but honest to God, like this is just, it, it's gotten ridiculous. And, and now there's a handgun freeze that is somehow going to affect the criminals. I, I, I don't know how, but uh, that's what they're going after. They're saying that, oh, well, well, you know, Canada's no longer going to import handguns because there's now there's a freeze. So uh, that means criminals won't get their hands on handguns because, of course, Criminals, before they go buy a handgun, they go do their course. So they go get their RPAL uh, and they go and apply for authority to transport and apply for an RPAL. They buy them uh, at the stores where you and I might get them. And then they're going to store them at home and in, in a safe location until they go to commit their crime. That's, that's obviously what criminals do, right? I, I don't know. It's like I said, it's so frustrating. Uh, this is a fantastic firearm. This is okay. I, I mean, I like this one so much better than the WK. It's not even funny. I mean, it's night and day. I, it's sad. 
and you know this is what I'm using because this is what I can use. If I could use that, I would be so all over this. Uh, I mean, and technically right now, uh, this firearm, it, they don't know what they're going to do with it. There's a, uh, they're calling it a buyback, but it's not a buyback. A buyback is like when the government says, hey, we'll offer you this to, to take that property off your hands, and you agree to that. If you don't agree to that, it's a seizure, it's a confiscation, and that's what they're doing with these firearms, although they're having a hard time right now finding a company that is willing to broker that. Uh, there's been a couple of provinces, God bless, you know, you Albertans out there, uh, you know, you're standing up for your property rights, and even the government is saying to the federal government, like, I'm sorry, we don't have the police resources in order to uh, assist you with this seizure and confiscation. So, if you live in the, the, the land of the big sky out there, you certainly have at least a little bit of light on the horizon. We have light on the horizon, but it's a train coming for us uh, full steam. Like, I actually asked the Certe, because I live in Quebec, what do I do with this firearm? And they don't have an answer. They don't know how it's going to happen. They don't know how it's going to work. So, uh, it, it's, it's a sin. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that firearm. It has never, ever hurt anybody. Um, it, well, I can't say that, because... When I, before I changed the charging handle, it was actually pinching my finger a little bit. But the rules and regulations for Canadian gun owners, they're so strict. We are not the problem, okay? So leave us alone. Let us enjoy our hobbies and our pastimes and go after the people who are doing uh, heinous crimes, okay? And, and make it uh, tough for them, okay? Keep them in jail. That might be a good option too. Anyway, guys. Uh, I hope you like the WK-180 video. Like I said, it's a fine firearm. And I think the, the other companies that are kind of following suit, like uh, Black Creek Labs, I think they're putting out, and it's just, you know, it's gonna take a while. This took a while, so this firearm is gonna take a while before it gets up to the status of this, if it can, if it's allowed to grow in that direction, if the government doesn't come in and put a halt to that completely. but. Unfortunately, this firearm has sat in the, the, the safe. It has come out to be cleaned and maintained, and that's about it for the last four years. Set. It's my property, right? This firearm, I use it because I can't use that. That's it. Okay, guys. I, I hope I didn't go too far off a rant. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you guys in the States, like I said, you have that wonderful document, that, uh, that constitution that guarantees your rights. Our rights are, as we're learning, as time goes on, are kind of uh, a little bit malleable, depending on what the government wants. So uh, we need to stand up for it. We need to spread the word. If you've got friends that you know don't know anything about ARs, Take them to the range, let them fire, if they're up for it, let them fire some firearms and kind of dispel that misinformation. There's a way to do it tactfully. Uh, and you'd be surprised how many people, you know, they're scared of firearms, you take them to the range and they're like, well, that's that's fun, I can understand why you do that. Uh, and, you know, you, you instill on them how safe we own and operate these firearms and a lot of that kind of, fear is going to dissipate. So we have to do our part. We have to be vocal about it. I think that's what I'm doing now. I want to get it out there. I'm kind of sick and tired. The, the, the laws right now are inconsistent and silly. There it is. So go ahead, click like, subscribe. Uh, it helps me out and uh, you're doing me a big favor. So I appreciate you guys and I hope you appreciate these videos and we'll talk to you another time.